another session. Two length hundred theta forty five thirty a third quadrant below HP and behind BP and B also in third quadrant. B also in third quadrant. When B is in third quadrant, elevation will be below X Y, so L B will be below B one dash will be below. Small B is above, so small B is above, L B P is above, B two is above. Okay, draw X Y. A dash A with A dash as center. We have to draw a line at forty degrees downwards. B one dash B one dash is to be down hundred theta equals forty. B one L B E plan line. Next, A S N A. Ate draw a line at thirty degrees. Five equals thirty. Hundred. B two. B two dash. Elevation length. L B P. Then what? Simply combine. A dash as center. Elevation length as radius. Cut an arc on L B. You get B dash, A dash B dash is elevation. A as center, A B one as radius. This is B one. A as center, A B one as radius. Cut an arc. B. Beta alpha. Next is the traces. You extend the plan if necessary to cut x y at b. Draw a vertical line through b. Extend the elevation b t h. H T. I hope it's clear. Very simple question. You have to systematically make a note of this and simply systematically do it. You need not think considerably. If you think, you have to be very very thorough. It's not possible at this uh, time, this juncture of your career where you are studying. Completely new set of subjects in a completely new type of environment and a new type of instruction, new issues. It's not possible to concentrate to that extent for an ordinary average student. So make a note of this blindly. Do you will get correct? You get the question correctly solved. Okay then. Thank you.